Show me how you fight. Show me how you win. That is Sanakt. Sanakt is uh, at the moment uh, one of my favorite uh, warlords. He is crushing into Terra and he is really bloodthirsty. And let's see what he can do. So this deck, thanks to the echoes of the past, I am a scholar of martial knowledge. is really, really nice. I love it. I love Tsenakt and it's all about gaining psychic energy and having uh, a lot of fun, a lot of damage. I that I will defeat you. Yeah. And we all know Vulcan has a lot of power and yeah... Um, Select's ability is like Psyker 1 and for two Psykers you are gaining uh, plus one attack. Yeah. This is uh, really familiar like Corswain or Lucius but, uh, the big but, he has his own energy for this, the psychic ability, and this is really nice. This is really giving him the nuts ability to get to 19 damage around uh, is really possible. Yeah, also really good is the precognition of most of the um, Southern Suns troop here, Pentodust, one of the major troops. Yeah, he used here a good card, making my my uh, um, tactics cost a lot more, so it's not worthy to use them. And thanks to enumeration, this is also free drawing cards without spending much energy. This is perfect. Ammon's Cabal key card of this deck. I love it. And yeah, enumeration. Now you can see I'm filling my hand. So then I can really go to chill a bit. I have enough on the hand to beat him down. Yeah, time for clean. So, and it's her tu his turn. So he's triggering his ability. This is a lot of damage. Really nice, mate. I'm down to 21, but I have the next Airman's Cabal healing. And you can see already the psychic energy rising. Yeah, and decided things I have two of them out to give him a full six. And it's 25. 22 now and this what I like really on the thousand suns is that you can remove a lot of troops you see my second energy is again up uh, to take ash and blow to remove that one here thanks to the echoes of the past this is really an awesome card usually it was like this when you use Angtau you or you have a troop out or something it's gone but now I get it back I use the counter attack I get it back you know this is really really nice uh, and um, you see already the angel presence I also like is doing a great job you're gonna see yeah I did an attack with uh, Pentu since um, the ability of our friend here um, can be with our sorcerers mass destruction on his head Ah, hitting down, and this is for 3 uh, energy, 2 damage to everything is uh, really nice. I'm 3, 1, 6, so my turn. And I have already the lethal range here. And it's time to show him. So, we send him to the Neverborn. So this, what I really like about Sanakt is that he really does his, uh, versus his um, several warlords we have here versus Mortarion. Mortarion usually takes out the enemy warlord and uh, we all know that Mortarion uh, is really good I against um, aggro decks yeah. and that's exactly what he is, he is an aggro deck. So I try to attack every round. Get exact. You back. You back M4P. I love you back. Giving me a silent death. Not what I exactly wanted, but he couldn't remove him. 
So it's time for me. And it's time to play every round a card. And I don't use my psychic energy. Death Cloud. This is a little bit early. I would have spent him maybe. Uh, later this card is really awesome. But now in this moment it's an easy catch. Giving another two. Destroying Captain Ujoji, the one of the best three energy drops, I think. Here, yeah. let's go. Yeah, so I hope the music is not too loud. I assume I go here a little bit down that you can really proper hear me. So now the board is filled, it's just uh, we're cleaning up a little thing. We could ash and blow everything, but let's see. So, force wake bombs and stealth them in. Command bridge, classical. The hidden one. Most of the cards um, having precognition, like I said, can be easy stealthed. But he seems to be not having any uh, poison or he doesn't want to use it. Time to destroy. Yeah, we have already seven on the hand here, yeah, but I want some more. Merita uh, Cabal, perfect in this case. And it's 23 to 25. Yeah, that's what I meant. He poisoned and everything. He waited till the board is full. But doesn't matter. Not my time. So I'm getting the Cabal out. I do the flash exchange since my friends here yeah, anyway. Stunt K. It's time for damage. So this I use a lot of psychic energy now to just give him a lot of damage. Exactly ten. He's down to 13 and the board is still filled, so this is still dangerous. Hmm. Yeah, Kai was like, yeah, was a card I was not sure about to leave him in. I think I removed him now in the final deck version, since he was not bringing so much. Uh, this is the only card I'm not pretty 100% sure about, the rest is perfect. Yeah, Echo of the Past. And now you see already, I can get... Another enumeration, another flash exchange. This is like I want, yeah? Astra Warfare, time for damage. Three and five, okay for me. And the legendary, he's down to six. Classical, stunning, yeah. Do we have lethal? No, we haven't. So, we're cleaning up. I speed a little bit up now. Echoes of the past again, enumeration. Astral Warfare. And we have still the four Ang Towers hitting in. And that's it. Really nice. I like this deck. And uh, what is um, really common at the moment in uh, like the top 50 is Jiang Zai Khan. But um, with the strong agros, this is really difficult to prevail for him. I am a scholar of martial knowledge. Glory to the And this is a um, really nice deck also. But you see already, I, will you. I go on damage. Show me your truth. Yeah, I will show it. And uh, what he wants uh, is um, to go on his streak ability to get the mission down. And what I want is to kill him as fast as possible. Dwelling side now using. Yeah, you can see already. And now it's my turn. Angtau. The good thing, this is a good thing, yeah. I, you see, I really pumping in. 
He's starting to streak again, he's on 5. But the good thing is these, these decks can not really much do something against Precognition. It's really difficult for him to remove Precognition cards. 26-20. Airman's Cabal. Cleaning up the board. Because he can buff this and streak with it, so that's why I clean it. So now, you see, he can't remove the Cabal. My turn. Defense Satellite, I was angry about this situation. 1-1, one, one, this Defense Satellite at the moment gives me the creep. My godness. The RNG is crazy. 13-17, he gives me... Isaac Orr. That's what I meant with Speak Recognition. We have the Echo of the Past, we will now choose the Defense Satellite, what we played already. So we will have a lot more of damage and and we give him five and now this is what he wants so but now he can draw cards as much as he wants he can't reach me since I am in precognition and also what I found out I tried this deck by myself is that I don't have fast so much um, not my cup of beer but many players play it and do performing really well Mine is more snucked. And what I really love about Snucked is that he's really on everything, yeah? No matter what kind of true uh, deck he can face the most of them. Wiping everything. And GG, really good games. Yeah, versus Gager is like, yeah, Vulcan here we had already, Camber Diaz, this was really close, cause rain, uh, Swordsman versus Swordsman, an honorable battle about the honor, and about blood, a lot of blood. I am a scholar. Yeah, they have similar, they have similar abilities, I used early the counter attack. Of course, I have the echoes of the past and I can get it every time back. This is why I played it really fast. We are like turn 2 and he's on turn 5. I was like, what the F? He played two drilling sites and went up. Uh, yeah, clearly early, but clearly he wants to avoid the fast damage. I go on 4. Time to clean the board. Yeah, this is a must remove. He's Raphael, he's now on three cards, four cards in the hand. One is a special ability, so it means he has only two cards in the hand. Give me 1825. My turn. Cleaning the board. Gaining three. And now he's running out of steam. So we have basically three cards. Again, Riz Raphael. 23 16. So I will take the next Samex watch. Ashen Blow to remove his Raphael. Only one card in the hand that he destroying here. Uh, and triggering his ability, cleaning up, and healing, of course. 1732. Uh, 23. This is now he can only buff one card in the hand. Thanks to the echoes of the past, I can uh, the, get the Ashen Blow every time back. This is such a good card for the Thousand Suns. Really one awesome piece. Flash Exchange. Yeah, now I just get it. You know, I Flash Exchange, I have the... The... Um, Calmet Squad. I will just transform it into blood. Into unclean power. Okay. Time for damage. So his hand is basically empty. He can't do nothing against my troops on the board. So that's it. Shock so. Then we have K. K is always a good thingy.
And we give him. Perfect fit. Select. I must say I love this guy. Here was this part of a really close game, Luther. Here we see versus Khan and versus Nikor. And yeah, the good thing is um, he can really good perform lonely on the board versus Welder. Uh, so that's what I meant. This guy, of course, we have some use, but some Jenksa, like I said, is a favorite. Also versus Gagor. Gagor is in many, 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 many. Dex at the moment, he's often played. I love Gago going as my favorite warlord. Bought the video before, I and I can tell you guys, Sinact performing well. Yeah, this is all friendly. Ooh. Ooh. So the thing is, yeah, to always remove this uh, thingy here. So we're using again early the counter attack. And remove that one here that we get only one time sweet damage, much better. 26, 31. Cleaning the board. So, I decided for Pentathene, this is really difficult for a wolf to remove since of precognition. Addict of Sentry. This hits hard. This was my board cleaning. Yeah. 21, 20. Uh, 20 to 29. Hit him one. Healing here. Yeah. So this, this is a problem for him. He can't remove peak cognition. Well, he relies really on flank. So this is why this is so good. And now, of course, this is a must remove. Now, matter the damage. He must die. And we can give him here another 5, 4 and healing myself. And we are even now. Yeah, he can only destroy one. But we'll even give him the ability to destroy Pento this really well. So I'm running out of steam at the moment. The Underworld. And this is crazy. I uh, use his ability. Um, uh, to copy the underworld which put a play to friend they have died this game so I like it and also buffing um, the ability and now we give him 6 damage and it's 21 to 16 cleaning up the board removing my precious tool the good thing he can't know what I copied and I copied the underworld so this will fill up the board again. Sadly, this is not Pentu. Using the same card here. And now my turn. Yeah, now again we have good chances to just kill him. Cleaning up the board. That's it. Like I said, precognition at the moment uh, of the ladder is really nice. They perform all over really good. Let's now look. Versus Khan, the last match I'm going to show today. The, the Khan is also really often in the top 50. I am a scholar of martial knowledge. Yeah, I can. We all know I will defeat you. a lot of damage. Yeah, the actual presence I use because uh, will heal sweet to your warlord can be the tip on the the toe to win the match. So time for you back. Oh no, the cabal. Sorry, I saw you back. Uh, hitting here, using now no survivor. Sad combination for me. 22-25 You back now Drilling side, okay for me And this was really You back M4B Most valuable player again on the game He doesn't have the one And so he will Get the 4 damage out of you back Awesome 
motor strike 16 to uh, 20 this is really dangerous already 16 is nearly lethal range turning side and the airman's cabal is coming in and I'm saving and now it's like let's hope that I don't die and this is what I this is the feeling you all know when the last card on the hand is like oh man you will give me lethal with that I'm down to six it's possible that he kill me if both hit lucky me already so he's down to 50 mine down to one but my turn and we see nine psychic energy flash exchange this only works and this is a great crazy combo I have 15 psychic energy and now my turn Sanak Lords is all it's like by like you can see already the psychic force building against them and this will reach the tipping point of exactly nine crazy completely crazy GG good game so let's see the deck um, yeah, we have the flat exchange, we have the Angelic Presence, Command Bridge, Calmet Swirl. Now this time Lord McHale or Kai Zulane, you saw Kai Zulane doing a job, Lord McHale will also do a job. I'm explaining this card is what you like. Echoes of the Past, Enumerations, one time, you back. Legionnaire Turek, Merited Cabal, Angtau, Pentu, Defense led two times, a hidden one. Adak or Crone's Favor, Kuar Speeder, Emmons Cabal two times, Ashen Blow one time, Astral Warfare. So this is Astral Warfare and Defense that together when they come together. This is such a really big amount of damage. Absolutely crazy. So I think um, that was it. If you like uh, this, uh, could leave a thumb up, subscribe, everything like this. If you lo anyway look to this place here, then uh, thanks for keep watching me and. Uh, Night got fight. Let's catch you the next time on the battlefield.